All right, Coach, congratulations on getting your first conference victory. How does it feel? It felt good. felt good. You know, so two of our previous games were on the road in conference, opened up in Houston and uh, SMU before that. And so whenever you're trying to put a team together as quickly as we did, excuse me, opening up on conference, we had to, we had to fight. We had to fight. We had to figure it out. So being at home, getting a couple of days to uh, regroup, get our kids refocused, paid off. Super proud because there was a lot of time our team could have folded. They didn't. They got some key defensive stops, um, key rebounds, and uh, just execution there at the end was tremendous. So I'm proud of my team. You, how much is this a rebound after that Houston game? It's a huge rebound after the Houston game. Uh, I talked to my team about we want to feel that loss so that you can get better. Um, and so uh, we did. We did. We, we had some tough practices, some very productive practices. And I think my team answered um, within our practices. Our focus was together. We're going to do this together. And every single person has to contribute. And, and for in order for us to win, uh, everybody has to contribute and do their part. And I feel like, you know, Destiny being solid and having the 13 boards that she had and 24 points. Um, you had Rachel with seven rebounds. Anjane, eight rebounds. Um, so to have that in 13 offensive boards, uh, I'm pleased on, on our, in our effort. I wanted to ask on that because obviously the three-point shooting wasn't there tonight or, any, or today. Um, you, just, you guys kept feeding it to Destiny in the paint. Was that a point of emphasis or was that, was that just happening throughout the game? Yeah, it was a point of emphasis um, because we knew that their bigs are good and our bigs are good. So we had to – we really went at our post players this week about mm -hmm. who's going to be the better in the bigs, in the paint. And so – uh, we really focused in on, hey, we get it to you. You got to finish that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she and Destiny's done a good job. She's had some good practices, and I think it, she responded. Back there in the last home game, you we men you mentioned how Nay and Desto needed to kind of work at work together, like getting the chance to work together now in the in the in the front court. So how do you think they've improved on that over these last couple of games since we last talked? Well, when anytime we go into our high low action. Um, they are doing a better job of reading each other and seeing each other. Uh, so I think they've improved on that. And, you know, you have to get to learn your teammates, where she likes it, where she doesn't like the pass, different things like that. And I think that's gotten better, just to pass to each other, the hollow action. Also, too, just the communication. Um, and so we're asking, we kind of threw Anjane in the fire and say, okay, go, go do a lot for us. And she's come in and, and, and done a great job of that. And uh, Destiny leading this team in rebounding was, was awesome. So with, let's see, with the, with the three, with the getting to the free throw line, I noticed that earlier on the game, free throw lines, the free throw shooting really kept you guys in the game. What do you think managed to keep you guys ahead as the game, as the game went on? Because the, game, the lead never was quite high, no matter who had it. Defense stops. We got some key defensive stops, so I think that kept us, the rebounding, uh, kept us uh, ahead. And, you know, when you look at the second chance points, we had 12, and we all end up winning by three. So our rebounding kept us in and defense, uh, and we never could stretch the lead like we wanted to, but that's credit to Wichita. Uh, what a, they came in and, you know, had a great, great um, – you know, effort, especially on the road and being here in the state of Florida for a little bit. So that's credit to their to their defense. All right. Um, in the beginning of the second quarter, uh, Wichita came out strong, I guess more physical. And then we have, the Knights have turned the ball over was it four times, less than four minutes in. Uh, and then you call the timeout and everything seemed to work itself out. What did you tell the team? I told us to calm down. Uh, we were turning the ball over too much. And we need to calm down and settle, execute our offense. Uh, I also call that timeout to just not uh, let Wichita get on a roll because I can see that they were, you know, beginning to get a, a 
a run going. So I wanted to call a timeout out there and get my team settled. And I thought we did. And so um, that, that calmed us down. I wasn't pleased overall with our 23 turnovers. But I, I feel like in key times, we, 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 you know, we, we did a better job of handling the ball. Your Last question. Yes. Your message has been that all, all this year has been on defense. That fourth quarter, low, as low scoring as it was, how big was that fourth quarter that to really showcase how important defense is for you guys? And what do you think you'll need to do in that regard when Tulane comes to town next? So defense is very important for us, okay? So with us, if you look at our offense, any night someone can step up and lead this team, which I love. That's 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 good. Uh, but defense, we want our defense to turn over and create our offensive points for us. So that's key. And when you think about it, there were three times on the sideline out of bounds that Wichita could have uh, either gone up or changed the, the course of the game, and we got stops. So I'm proud of my team for listening to the scouting report and being able to get key stops. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you.